Hey guys, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I want to show you how to make this concrete bowl. So if you've been hanging around on the internet and on Pinterest lately, you've probably seen a concrete planters, bowls, all kinds of concrete creations are sort of trendy right now and to me they're really pretty because it has an earthy color and texture to it. So I kind of wanted to try my hand at something concrete as well. And I had the perfect opportunity when my friend Jamie from So Much Better With Age, it's a blog, uh, she does all kinds of home decor type stuff, just finished her new book. And she sent me a copy. It's called French Vintage Decor. And it has 70 projects in it, just really neat little DIY projects. Um, there's some sewing, there is just some crafty type stuff and painting. And so if you're into like French style decor and vintage, it's a really cool book to check out. I will leave a link below for you to pre-order this on Amazon. It comes out, I think in two weeks, so you can get be one of the first people to get your hands on it. But anyway, there was a section where she showed how to make a concrete bowl and I thought I want to try that and share it with you guys on my blog and YouTube channel. It was a really simple process. It did not require many tools. I went out and got a bowl just for this because I really was particular about the shape of the bowl and I didn't have any in my house that would really work. But you can also use things that are laying around your house to do a project like this. You might already have some plastic Tupperware bowls that would be perfect for this project. And actually, I kind of expected it to ruin the bowl, but it came out really, really clean, and I think with a good washing, you can use a bowl that um, you wanna use again. So we started this project by, of course, acquiring the materials, which was two bowls, one 12 inch and one eight inch to fit inside of it. Concrete powder, which our local hardware store only just had regular quickcrete and it's really, really rocky. So we actually took a strainer, uh, my plastic strainer, and just kind of strained out some of the rocks. Now my husband said we should leave some in because it works to hold the concrete together. So we strained out some, but not all, and it actually left a really nice smooth finish. So I guess that was the good choice. And we just mixed that concrete up till it was about the consistency of a pancake batter. Just kind of not uh, super thick, not super thin, just like a pancake. We then greased the inside of the large bowl and then the outside of the small bowl and then filled the large bowl about three quarters of the way full with the concrete mixture. Next, we fit the small bowl inside of the large bowl. And at this point, realized that we need a little bit more concrete to make it full. And filled it with a weight. Now, I just used some rocks. Um, I went and collected some rocks from my landscaping. And the little rocks weren't quite enough to hold it and submerge it to where the two rims were even. So I actually found a larger rock, which was one of the ones that line the pebble path in our front yard. And it was enough to hold it down because what you want is the two rims to basically be even, the outside large bowl and the inside smaller bowl. And then my husband took a little trowel type of thing, and it was actually the perfect width to make it even all the way around. Now, of course, you could use a larger bowl and have a smaller rim. Um, I wanted the really nice thick rim. I thought that would look really pretty on my shelf. After making those nice and even and making sure everything looked really smooth and nice and even, we let it sit for 24 hours. Then I just unmolded it and it was actually way easier than I expected. It just kind of popped right out. I like these air holes. My husband asked me, do you want the air holes in there? Because apparently if you kind of tap it down, the bowl down while it, before it sets, it'll get rid of some of those bubbles. But I really like the texture of the air holes, so I told him not to tap it too much because I wanted to maintain that texture that's so pretty. So I just popped this bowl up here on my shelf for now just as a place to kind of photograph it and look at it, but I think it'll look really pretty, maybe even as a planter, like an herb planter, on my coffee table 
or even as a planter here or on my porch. I just think it looks so pretty and I love the shape. And it was such an easy and inexpensive project, especially if you already have the molds on hand. You can just buy like a $3 bag of concrete and you could make tons of these. We only use a really small portion of the bag because our hardware store only sold them in 80 pound bags and obviously we needed like maybe three pounds. So we could make concrete rectangle herb planter with the concrete. I think that would look so pretty as well. Jamie in her book finishes this project by adding moss to the bowl on page 118 of her new book. So if you are interested in doing that as well, make sure to pick up her book. There are so many other pretty projects in here for uh, my DIY loving friends that you could do to add just some vintage charm to your home. So check out the link below to pre-order a copy of my friend Jamie's book. Also, there's more pictures of this project and step-by-step -step instructions on my blog. I'll link that below as well. I'll leave the link to Jamie's blog so you can check her out and follow along with all the great things she's doing over at So Much Better With Age. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video, this simple DIY. I think it would look pretty in so many places in your home. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.